welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to St. Peter Arlington Heights here in Arlington Heights, Illinois, site of the Lutheran Basketball State Tournament 2016. We're going to bring you fifth and sixth place action here uh, at the tournament between the Chester St. John Hornets and the Mount Prospect St. Paul Comets. The Hornets coming in as the seventh seed. Coached by Tony James, their season record 14 and 5. Run you through the game so far for them this tournament. Uh, first round. Beat Cross Yorkville 31 29. Second round lost to a uh, team playing in the championship today, Rockford Lutheran 78 to 30. And in the third round, beat East Dundee, Emmanuel East Dundee 48 43. To end up here at the fifth and sixth place game. Now for the Comets from St. Paul Mount Prospect, coached by Eric Young, season record 20 and 4. First round, lost to, or excuse me, defeated Zion Belleville 34 32. Second round, lost to Our Savior Springfield 49 to 30. And in the third round, beat St. John Lombard 42 35. We're going to head to the scores table Good for the introductions. We'd like to welcome everyone here to our fifth place uh, game on Championship Sunday, and this is our 42nd annual Lutheran Sports Association State Grade School Basketball Tournament. We'd like, glad to have you here. At this time, we're going to be introducing the lineups for both teams. Uh, in our fifth place game, the uh, visiting team on our scoreboard will be the Hornets from Chester St. John. And the home team in the scoreboard are the Comets from Mount Prospect St. Paul. At this time, let's introduce the Hornets from Chester St. John. They come in with a record of 24 and 5. Their head coach is Tony James. Tony's assistants are Mike Schwarting and Jeff Mott. Now the players. Number 11, Jarrett James. Number 15, Ronan DeLaren. Number 21, Jordan Hughes. Number 23, Eli Hughes. Number 31, Camden Davis. Number 35, Jaden Mott. Now the starters, number 14, Seth Levan. Number 22, Aaron Hanna. Number 24, Andrew Schwarting. Number 25, Ethan Egemeyer. And number 32, Ian Wright. Now let's introduce the Comets from Mount Prospect St. Paul. The Comets come in with a record of 23 and 4. Their head coach is Eric Young. Eric's assistant is Mike Haas. Now the players. Number 10, Rodrigo Figueroa. Number 15, Andrew Parcham. Number 22, Nick Karowski. Number 22, Daniel Prieto. Number 23, Nick Kruger. Number 24, JT Adams. Number 33, Danny Gilmore. Number 35, Tommy McCoskey. Number 40, Joe Mantich. Now the starters. Number 14, Mikey Withy. Number 30, Tyler Haas. Number 34, Colin Sand. Number 42, Jacob Riedel. And number 45, Jack Friedrichs. And as we begin every game, we ask you to please bow our head for a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the opportunity you give us now to ex extend our hand in Christian fellowship and sportsmanship. We ask you to please watch over the players, guard and protect them from harm and injury. We thank you for the officials and the work that they do. We thank you for the coaches and the time they put in and the players that you've given these abilities, both on and off the basketball floors. Please watch over us now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good luck, fellas. So before tip here, we're going to recap the starters for you. First for the visiting Hornets, 14 Levan, 22 Hanna, 24 Schwarting, 25 Egemeyer, and 32 Wreath. And for the Comets, the home team on the scoreboard, uh, number 14 Withy, number 30 Haas, number 34 Sand, 42 Riedel, and number 45 Friedrichs. 
two players to keep an eye on today. First for the Hornets is number 24, Andrew Schwarting, averaging 18 points a game. And for the Comets, number 30, Tyler Haas, averaging 10.6 per game, as high as 13. And for Schwarting, as high as 27. And the referee bounces the ball, and the tip is off, and we're underway. Ball corralled by the Hornets, and Reith. He'll hand it off to LeVan. Van swing around to Schwarting. Schwarting back up top to LeVan. Now over to Reith. LeVan holding to Reith. Down in the corner. To Egemeyer. He'll take the three from the corner. That one is short. And rebound pulled down by the Comets. Here comes Withy. Here's a three ball launched by Haas. That was off the back iron, no good. And the Hornets will move the ball from left to right. Reith knocks down a 15-footer to get the scoring underway here in the fifth and sixth place game. Here's Riedel. Riedel down to the corner to Sand. Sand now back up to Riedel. Hustle drive, and we're going to have a travel. First turnover of the game committed by Haas as he tried to make his way to the basket. Levan, just in front of the Comet bench, now swung back over to Reith. Levan takes a three, that one is short, and an offensive rebound, kicked back out to Reith. Now over to Reith down in the corner. We'll see a little post play. Number 24 puts it up off the glass, off the rim. No good. And that was Schwarting. And we're going to have an, our first foul of the game. That's going to be on Ian Reith, his first team first. Two nothing Hornets. The Hornets coming in as the seventh seed. There's a three ball from the top of the key is down the well for Jacob Riedel. And just like that, the Comets are up one. Here's the long pass to the corner. There's another three ball taken around and down. Andrew Schwarting knocks down his first bucket of the game. Here's Haas holding. Over to Friedrichs. Friedrichs, Riedel, Riedel back to Wit Withy. Withy up to Haas. Haas will take it right hand to the right side. It's a mishandled pass by Riedel, and we're going to have a scrum for the ball pulled down by the Comets. Here's a three ball from Haas. Looks like it might have been tipped. Hits the back iron. No good. Rebound pulled down by Reith and the Hornets. Looking to push the other way up to 5-3. Just underway here in the fifth and sixth place game. Three and a half to play here in the first quarter. Here's another three ball short by Schwarting. Rebound pulled down by the point guard, Withy. Here's another three ball, top of the key, around and down. Jacob Riedel knocks down his second of the contest. And we're going to have a travel. Levan caught the pass, jump stopped a little too late. Turnover to the Comets. Here's Withy, over to Haas. Haas turns, spins, throws a pass out. Now back up top to Riedel. Riedel looking to exploit the middle. Kicked it back out to Haas. Haas now over to Levan. Levan, the right-hand runner. Baseline, no good. Rebound. Offensive put back up and good by Jack Friedrich. Eight-five. Comets on top. Here's a baseline drive by Schwarting. His shot was short. And we're going to have ourselves a jump ball. Possession to the Comets. Here's LeVan crossing the timeline with the left hand. Now kicked out to Riedel. Riedel to the corner to Sand. Sand back up top to Riedel. Riedel around to Haas. He'll take the three from the top of the key. Hit the backboard. Offensive put back by Friedrichs. Two 
Two minutes to play here in the first. Comets up 10-5 over the Hornets. There's a patch of the corner to Schwarting. Schwarting will take that three from the corner after some nice passing. Nice rebound by Riedel. Riedel up ahead to Sand. Sand right hand up off the glass and good. Timeout Hornets. That's going to be a 30-second timeout. And I am joined by a color analyst who got stuck in a little bit of traffic. <laughs> Mr. Roger Krul, a state participant, what, five years, six years? Took a second place and a third place. Right, second place, third place, never got the, uh, the golden mantle. But <laughs> <laughs> so that makes me uh, uh, expert at, uh, at, at trying to get there. So uh, it's great to be uh, here today with you. And uh, sorry I ran a little late, but uh, I'm ready for some great basketball. As it should be, we have the Chester St. John Hornets. School about an hour south of St. Louis, so they're making their best of their time here in the northern part of the state, playing for the fifth place here at the state tournament, which is nothing to scoff at at all. Nothing, nothing. Uh, I'm not sure of the number of uh, great schools in the state of Illinois, but uh, I know that if you're in the last six, that's pretty darn good. You're doing something right. Doing something right. So here is Withy working against this 2 3 of the Comets, and out to Schwarting. Schwarting swings it back up top to Egemeyer. Now to the other corner to the... Here's a three ball. That one is no good. Nice board pulled down by Sand. Here comes Withy looking to push. They'll pull it out. Now over to Riedel. Riedel down in the corner to Sand. He'll take a three. That one is short. Nice offensive board. Uh, basket up is good, but they're going to wave it off. As that was a push in the back on the Hornets. And that foul's going to be on Schwarting, his first, team second. So pretty clean game so far. Only about two turnovers. They're well-schooled at this point. That's what you like to see. There's Sand in the lane. That one's going to be blocked by Schwarting. So I know you just sat down, but the Comets in this 2-3. The Hornets are really taking a lot of outside shots and not giving themselves a lot of chances for offensive boards. Here's a three ball from newly checked in Andrew Parcham. No iron out of bounds to the Comets. Maybe you should have given him a little more time to warm up before he took that one. I just think they're being a little impatient from what I'm seeing early here. Well, down 12-5 and just under a minute here to play in the first quarter. Here's Withy. Now down in the corner to Sand. Sand looking in the post, nothing. Reed will drive with that right hand. Up off the glass and good. Nice move by Riedel. Great penetration. Move the ball side to side. Get in the lane and go. 14-5. The Comets up. There's a mishandled ball in the lane by Reith. Reith now over to Schwarting. Schwarting will swing it back up top to Levan. Levan under Schwarting. There's a nice baseline drive by Egemeyer. Up off the glass. In and out. No good. Oh. Here's Withy crossing the timeline with nine. Eight seconds, seven. Gets in, kicks it out to Haas. Haas back up top to Riedel. Riedel pump fakes. Down to the corner sand. Back to Riedel. Up nice, off. Nice, nice. Oh, and he oh. missed everything. Almost had an wow. offensive put back there at the buzzer. But don't let that last little sequence fool you. The Comets played very well down the stretch in very that first quarter. 14-5. Well. That's a good jump out in front. So just to let folks know, the state 2016 track and field will be held May 21st and 22nd at Concordia University. For those of you interested, check the LSA website, www.luthsports.org, for qualifying times and distances. Well, that just lets you know spring is right around the corner with track and field about to start. As we get a nice performance from the Comet cheerleaders before the second quarter starts, the 2-3 zone really seems to be baffling the Hornets. Looking to take a lot of outside shots. Now their last possession, they got it into the post. Couldn't knock down the, the little turnaround hook. If you're coaching against this 2-3 zone, what are, you, what, are you, what are you looking to do to, to exploit it and get a couple easier shots rather than taking, you know, probably 75% threes is what they've done so far today. 
what I've noticed and what I'd be doing here, and uh, they're, they're really trying to do that, is work it into the middle of the floor between the two guards on top and let your uh, big man take it right down the, uh, right down the lane. Get a nice 4-5, uh, 10-footer. Uh, that's what I'd be doing right now. Here's a three ball. That one is good from Eggemeyer. Unless you, of course, couldn't hit a three. <laughs> <laughs> So everything we just talked about, we can throw it out the window. <laughs> throw it out the window. Here's Riedel. He'll take a three. In and out. No good with the answer. Offensive board for Sand. Back out to Riedel. Pass was tipped. And here come the Hornets. Three on two. Go right out. LeVan. Nice pass. Over to Eggemeyer. Eggemeyer off the glass. No good. Nice rebound. will go up ahead. Here's Sand. Nobody in front of him. Right hand up off the glass. No good. Ooh. Nice board by Eggemeyer. And we're just looking to push here in the second quarter. Oh, we are running now. Eggemeyer out <clears throat> to Schwarting. He'll take a three down the well. And just like that, it's a three-point ball game. I tell you, like you said, everything we said went right out the window. <laughs> Let's start hitting them from behind the arc. Here's Riedel. He'll look to answer back from the corner. Off the back iron, no good. Rebound fought for, tapped around, and controlled by Eggemeyer. Nice Eagle hustle. Pushing. They seem to be getting the tip balls and the loose balls right now. And then push it up the floor. Now they'll play some offense, which is smart. They don't have the break. They set up and they go. Like to see a little more side to side though on those passes. Here's Rita looking to beat all the Hornets back up off the glass and good. Oh wow. What a Fired play. it up there kind of hard. Man. Still went down. 16 11. Four and a half to play here in the first half of this fifth and sixth place game. Levan gets it in the lane to Reith. Reith now back out to Levan. Levan over to Schwarting. Schwarting back up to Levan. Thought about the three. Put it back on the holster. Now over to number 15. And we're going to have a jump ball. Yeah. Something else that the uh, Hornets weren't doing there in the first quarter. It's getting in there on that offensive glass. I like, I like seeing this. I, I, I like what they're doing now to stay in this ball game. Got away from being impatient. Now they're much better. Here's Riedel, left hand, kick back out to Haas. Haas will take a nice three-pointer top of the key off the back iron. No good. Nice rebound by Dolron. And he's fouled by Haas. Maybe a little frustration from Haas. He comes in leading the team in points and has yet to score. Yeah, it's, uh, and, and when that happens, you get a little tight and a little impatient, and uh, you'll take that deep shot and go after the rebound and foul in some cases. So uh, just about being patient. As LeVan gets it into the middle. There's a nice, nice bounce pass. pass to the right side to Eggemeyer. He couldn't connect. Rebound tapped around and fought for. Finally pulled down by Haas. Have an errant pass. Luckily, Sand was there to corral it. That was a nice play. And we're going to have a travel. Uh, Jacob Riedel. As he looked to get started. Started with the feet before he put the ball down. Yep. So we saw some running in the first two minutes of the quarter. Now we've really slowed it down to seeing some good offense. There's LeVan, top of the key, being patient. I think that's probably what they talked about in the huddle. I'm LeVan thinking take so. A top of yeah, a three key and rattles around look and down. Get the, get the ball passing around, going from side to side, and get a nice open look. The guards aren't approaching that point guard when he comes down the floor. He's doing a smart thing here, keeping that single front point guard spot. Here's Withy looking to answer with a three, and that one's off the iron, no good. Now they're going to push here. But the Comets are pretty good at getting back and getting in position defensively. So. Here's a three ball from Eggemeyer. Long. Rebound Riedel. Riedel's just kind of doing it all today. Taking yeah. threes, getting rebounds, <laughs> looking to penetrate. Kind of one of those long athletic players. Here's Withy. He traveled. And before he put it off the glass and good. What do they call that step when you go to the basket like that? Is that the a Euro, Euro setup? Step? Oh, boy. I think, I think he went the whole continent on that one, though. A nice pump fake in the lane by Reith. His shot is short. Rebound tapped around, fought for, and I believe that was last touch by the Hornets. It was. It'll be Comet basketball. So, so what you're saying is right. They're looking to get it in the middle of the lane. Get that nice, what do we say, about, about 10 to 15 foot jumper. Yep. If not, hit the guy streaking baseline. Uh, and it, it worked great. He just missed the layup. Here's Riedel. He'll take a three. Good. Wow. wow. In rhythm. Nice job. Nice job. Great pass. 
Riedel came in only averaging about eight points a game. And he's really carrying this Comets team today. On both ends, defensively and offensively, especially on the boards. Absolutely. 19-14, just under two to play in the first half. You notice Agamera getting it into the post. That one was tapped away as that pass was intended for Reith. And here come the Comets looking up ahead was Withy. Got a little too excited trying to find Fredericks. And it'll be a turnover to the Comets. Or excuse me, to the Hornets. Something here the Hornets you've got to watch out for. The Comets are backing down into the lane to eliminate that pass to the middle. Now they have no one in the middle of the floor. And Levan took a couple steps. Got a little excited. I think he saw a nice pass he had. And yeah, uh, yeah. decided to tuck it back away and then and, and move saw, those feet. He saw it for a second. Here's Hoff looking over to Withy. Now back up top to Riedel. Riedel, nice bounce pass to the corner to Friedrichs. That three ball is long. Reith couldn't control the rebound. And it'll stay on this end here with the Comets. Hornets have gone to a man-to-man -man here, which uh, I don't know that the, the, uh, the, uh, the Comets have noticed yet, but let's see what they do here. They're back in the zone. Switching defenses quickly are the Hornets, and Riedel took some steps. A lot of guys getting excited today. They are. I mean, okay. it's the fifth and sixth place game. Hey. It's probably your last game of the year unless you're going to the national tournament. It's, I mean, the... You're going to get excited. I mean, it's, it's state. I it's, mean, I, it's I, right. I coached right. a couple of state games, and it's, it's, it's an exciting thing. Yeah, absolutely. Here's Levanda, the corner to Eggemeyer. Back nice down on the post job. to Schwarting. Oh. And Schwarting was held before taking the jump shot. Only four fouls this half. it has been a pretty clean game in that sense. Uh, starting to see a couple more turnovers. Yeah, just shuffling the feet, getting a little excited, like you said. This is a, this is a big arena. And what I mean by that is not the size of the place. It's just the, the game is so big here at State. Here's Kruger checking oh. in for the Comets and Withy with a nice steal. He'll stop. Little floater in the lane. No good. Rebound tapped around and fought for. Finally pulled down by Reith. He'll look to push. Look at that. Upper head, up ahead to Egemeyer. Up off the glass and good. Nicely done. And, and on the defensive end, even though... Eggermeyer made the layup. Sand did a nice job of not fouling him on his way up. Still Absolutely. getting in the way. Here's Riedel up top to the newly checked in Kruger. Kruger now over to Withy. 28 seconds to play. Now to Kruger. Kruger looking inside to Sand. Sand up over the top. Now in the lane to Riedel. His one-handed runner is no good. Rebound pulled down by Reed. Look at the energy these Hornets have now. 19-16. 10 seconds to play. Reith back up top to Levan. Levan will take the three. That one is around and down. Good. Tie ball game, 3-2. One on the clock. Withy will not get, get a shot, shot off. off. And we'll go to half tied. 19-19. We'll be back with second half action after this. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. After that short halftime intermission, we're back here. Well, the second half of the fifth and sixth place boys game here at the 2016 Lutheran Basketball State Championships. Game between the Chester Hornets and the Mount Prospect St. Paul Comets. Comets went on a 10 0 run to end the first quarter. We're up 12 to 5. And going into halftime, we're tied at 19. What, what, what did you see that, that they got the Hornets back in the game? Well, one big thing is uh, if you're if you're taking it to the opponent the way they were in the first quarter, why stop doing the things you were doing? The one the one or two things that I saw that uh, the uh, Comets were doing well is they were running, they were looking ahead and getting some pretty easy baskets, and that's what you want in a game like this: is get some easy ones and then make them work hard on the uh, you know on their offensive end. Uh, they just stopped doing those things. And I th and let's not shortchange the the Hornets. Came out in that second quarter and started knocking down some threes. They did, and they started doing something that they weren't doing in the first quarter, which was getting some offensive boards, getting a couple other opportunities at the basket. And the, the more times you shoot at the hoop, the better it's going to be, <laughs> <laughs> unless you're horribly percentage-wise, doing horribly percentage-wise. But uh, they're doing some really good things. I think patience, too, for both teams uh, is either got to be restored in the case of the Comets, and then the Hornets got to have to continue to be patient. So going in to the second half, 
what do the Comets have to do to take this? And then on, on the other hand, what do the Hornets have to do to, to, to take home fifth place? I just think the uh, the, the Comets are, are doing a really good job on offense. They've got to go back to running, pushing the ball at the Hornets. But get back on that offensive glass for the Comet, uh, Comets. And then for the Hornets, I think they're doing a great job. The reason they got back to in this game was they, they're switching defenses and making the Comets think on offense and work a little harder on offense. So uh, both teams have a great shot here, uh, doing some of the things that they're already doing. I think the Hornets are going to do well here in the second half. And, and the Comets, they just have to keep continue to do what they were doing in the first quarter or restart doing those things. Here's Schwarting. He'll take a 15-footer to start us off here in the second half. Back iron, no good. Rebound pulled by the Comets. Comets looking to push. Haas got the pass knocked away. Pulled down his own Aaron pass. And then we had a travel as Withy came up with it in the far right corner. So as we were talking about during the break, off air, Riedel for the Comets has really been the, the MVP today. Yeah, he has. Uh, just doing all the little things and the big things. Speaking of, he's going to look to go to the basket. Right hand up over the middle, no good. Looks to get his own rebound, fought for. Rolling around the ground, we're going to have a jump ball. It'll stay on this end of the Comets. So not only did he hustle to the rim, hustle to get his own rebound as well. Absolutely. That's, that's, yes, what do they need to do to win this thing? Continue to do this. After the inbound, Withy tried to find the inbounder, Haas, in the far left corner. Ball was knocked away by the Hornets. And the Comets will retain possession. There's Haas up top to Withy. Withy back over to Haas. Now to Friedrichs, out top to Riedel. Riedel swung around to the corner to Sand. Comets doing a nice job of working the ball around against this man-to-man. -man. Here's Riedel in nice. the lane. Right hand up off the left side and good. That's a great screen at the top. He went around the screen right to the basket. Here's Levan. Point guard for the Hornets. Now over to Dolron. Dolron to the corner to Schwarting. His three is long. And another nice rebound for the Comets. We had a travel on Haas. Looking to get it to the middle to Withy. 21-19 Comets. Just underway here in the second half of these fifth and sixth place game. Here at St. Peter on tonight, Sam Krull alongside Roger Krull. Here are the Hornets looking to swing it around against this 2-3. Egemar will take a three and knock it down. Wow. Casual three. That was nice. Didn't even step. look like he was taking the jumper. Nope. Just stepped into it and hit it. That's the thing about the zone. You really have time to set your feet and shoot that three before somebody's coming out to you. Here's Haas looking to answer back. It does. Wow. In rhythm. Keep saying it, but it's so important. Ball in the lane to Reith. He'll kick it out to Dolron. Dolron will take a three off the glass. No good. Rebound pulled down by Reith. He'll fight the ball up, and he was fouled. And he'll go to the line for two as that foul was on Haas, his third, team first of the half. Yeah, decision time. And it looks like we're going to have a sub for Haas. Daniel Prito checking in for Haas, who's entered a little bit of foul trouble. Leading score coming into today. Um, really has been kept at bay, but Riedel's carried this Comet team in his absence. There you go. Somebody's got to step up. And Reith knocks down both free throws to tie the game at 24. Here come the Comets. Newly checked in Prito. Back up top to Riedel. Riedel over to Withy. Withy down in the corner to Sand. Sand looking in the post. Finds Friedrichs. He's double teamed. Kicked it back out to Riedel. Riedel left hand up off the left side and good. The, oh, wow. The hoop and the harm. And he'll go to the line to complete the three-point play. Notice the uh, Hornets went to the man-to-man -man, uh, with a tie score. That's an interesting choice of defenses. Uh, they're doing a nice job of making the common shoot from the outside, and then they go man, and right away, right into the post. Riedel knocks it down, giving the comments a three-point lead, so we're just going back and forth here with two and three-point leads. Uh, uh, this is a chess match right now. 
There's LeVan crossing the timeline, switching hands left to right. Now back to left, swinging it over. In the lane was Wreath with a jumper no good. Rebound pulled down by Riedel. It's Withy crossing the timeline. Now over to Preto. Preto to the corner to Sand. Sand in the post to Friedrich. Kick back out to Riedel. Now up top to Preto. Preto jab step. Now to the lane. Nice bounce pass. Entry to, to Friedrich. Up off the glass and good. Nice post move. Absolutely. They're giving them way too many opportunities to catch free. They don't have to work for the catches in the, in the post. There's Egemeyer back up top to LeVan. LeVan back to Egemeyer. He'll shoot that casual three again around and no good. Rebound tapped around and fought for. Pulled down by Friedrichs. Here's Preto. Oh, looking to make a sweet bounce pass across the lane to Riedel. Had him. Ball was knocked out of, bound by the, knocked out of bounds by the Hornets. It's a fraction of a second too late there on that bounce pass. But good vision by Preto so far today. Here's Riedel. He'll take a three from the corner. That one's wow. good. Wow. Wow. There was no hesitation on that one. 32-24. Comets up eight. Hornets looking to answer back here. Schwarting. He's been kept quiet so far today. And his jumper is short. Two Here on one. Withy down the lane. Fires it up off the backboard. And he was fouled by Egemeyer. And he'll go to the line to shoot two. Great strategy here. You got him on the ropes. Take the ball right at him. Now they're going to get some free throws here that... Uh, you know, could make this a 10-point ball game. These first free throws up and no good. Both teams came in today shooting right around 50% from the free throw line. Uh, the Comets 15 of 28. The Hornets 14 of 25. With the second one is good. There you go. So they've stretched the lead to nine. This is their biggest so far today. Absolutely. And, and watch the comments here. Getting a little more aggressive out top with that point guard. They're going to try to keep it, uh, keep it out of the middle of the floor. Just look at it. Now here's Reeve. He'll take one dribble. Killed it. Now back out top to LeVan. LeVan over to Egemeyer. Egemeyer looking to go baseline. Right hand pull-up jumper is short. And nobody down there for the offensive board either. Not a soul. They're actually giving them the three now. You want to take that outside shot, you're going to pay for it because we're going to run it right back at you. There's Preto looking to create off the dribble. Kick back to Friedrich. Friedrich's 15-footer is good. Preto's come in this game and made some really nice passes. Absolutely. Absolutely. And the lead is 11. Hornets are going to have to regroup here. And what's, what's gotten them out of this game so far? I mean, they're tied at halftime, and now you're, you've given them 16 points already in the, in the third quarter. They've become one-dimensional. One-dimensional. They're shooting uh, jumpers most of the time. I uh, haven't seen them go to the basket in three or four minutes. So uh, if I was the coach right now, I'd, I'd say, hey, let's, let's get the ball inside. Let's get our post guys to doing a little bit more four, five, six feet away from the basket. Uh, when you go one-dimensional, you're too easy to beat. And let's not, I, I mean, again, let's not take anything away from the comments. Oh, Riedel not, has been not, on fire no, in this third quarter. Uh, and, and there's one other thing that I've noticed that I was going to say, and that's uh, the lack of defensive intensity. Whether they're in the man of the zone, you've got to be aggressive. Um, uh, some teams think just because you're in the zone, you, you don't have to play hard. But I think they are uh, they're got their heads down now, and they're shaking their heads a little bit. And so there's a couple things that the Hornets have to get together. Uh, LeVan tried to get it into the post to Wreath, and that ball was knocked away. Good defense again by the Comets. Here's Preto crossing the timeline with the right hand. Uh, here's Riedel. Back out to Sand. Sand back into Friedrichs. Pass was a little behind him and picked off by the Hornets. 1.15 to play here in the third quarter. 35-24. Comets on top. Remember, we started this third quarter at 19 apiece. Absolutely. Here's Schwarting. Schwarting to the lane. Up and no good. Got to take it to the basket. But he'll go to the line to shoot two. And that's, that's got to be a strategy for the rest of the game is taking it to the basket, getting to the line, trying to get some points with the clock stop. Absolutely. Absolutely. So Schwarting's first free throw is good. There you go. You got to get him going. I mean, coming into this game, averaging 18 a game. Wow. I think maybe has five at this point. 
He's, okay. I, he's, he's a good player. Locked down a couple jumpers to start and has really been kept at bay for the rest of the game. Let's get the ball inside. Now they've switched to a man now. So this will, hopefully this will pick up their defensive intensity. Brito over to Riedel. Riedel right hand, driving into the lane, kicks it back out to Sam, not a Prito. Prito looks to create. Nice dribbling. Now back up top to Withy. Withy over to Riedel. Riedel down the corner to Prito. Prito, nice entry pass to Friedrichs. His turnaround, one-hander is blocked. Got his own board, then was quickly fouled by Egemeyer. And that's the fourth foul on Egemeyer, and that's going to hurt. Yeah, absolutely. He works hard for him. Hornets in a 2-3. Nice bounce pass into Sand. Sand, nice pass across the lane to Friedrichs. His shot was short. And on the rebound, it was knocked out of bounds by the Hornets. Nice passing down there. Looked a little surprised that he got it, so, mm -hmm. and he was so wide open. Now, why would a team usually go to a 2-3 on the inbound? And we have a foul on Schwarting. As Sand tried to take the ball up with the right hand over the middle, he'll go to the line for two. You don't want to give up anything easy on that uh, inbound pass. Yeah, protect the block, protect the inside. Got the ball inside anyway. Um, that's awareness, just being uh, aware of who's behind you. Sands first free throw is up and good. It's so important down there underneath on those inbound passes is positioning. You got to see the ball and the man. Uh, that time we had heads turned. And Schwarting will take a seat as Camden Davis as well as Jaden Mott check in for the Hornets. San second free throw is good. Wow, I got a nice friendly a rim. Soft done. rims, right? <laughs> Always like shooting here. Yeah. <laughs> I think it hit every inch of the rim before it went in. Here's LeVan over to Mott. Mott down in the corner to Camden Davis. Oh, and oh. we're going to have a foul. As I believe Preto pushed Aaron Hanna over. Here's the inbound to Reith. Reith with the pump fake. Now up top, LeVan will set, take the three, short. Rebound pulled down by Riedel. Up ahead to Prito. Prito, nobody in front of him. LeVan catches up. Right hand up and good by Prito. They're back at it. Well, oh, he's really come off the bench and created a spark. I am so impressed by these uh, guys who are coming off the bench ready to play. There's a half court shot thrown up at the buzzer. And Reith dragged his back foot. And we've got travel with .2 to go. So really not much you can do here, but throw it to the rim and hope, it, hope somebody gets an alley-oop dunker. See if you can get a tip. Tip. Or yeah. just hold it. Or just hold it. Especially when you've got a 13-point lead. As you mentioned, a 13-point lead for the Comets heading into the fourth quarter. Scored 20 points. 20 points in that third quarter. Absolutely. And uh, all kinds of ways, too. You know, it just wasn't the three ball. It's going to the basket, getting rebounds, putting them back. Uh, free throws. They were at the line. Didn't have a whole lot of free throw shooting in the first half. Now you've got some because guys are getting aggressive going to the hoop. Um, it's exciting stuff. Um, here's, here's, here's what I fear for the Hornets uh, coming, out of the, coming out of this, uh, this timeout is uh, just not believing that they can do it. 13-point uh, lead. They've shown they've gone on a 10-0 run, and they've done some other runs in this game. And, and this doesn't sound correct at all, but you've got to be patient enough to run your offense here a little bit. And the tendency is to get a little impatient, make one pass, and then take a shot. That gives the ball right back to these Comets who are running the floor like crazy right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. So Haas checks back in for the Comets. They will replace Witte. And for the Hornets, Eggemeyer and Schwarting got a nice little minute blow there at the end of the third. Try to make a run here in the fourth. Down 13. Here's LeVan swinging it around to Reith. Now back up top to LeVan. He'll take the three ball. That one is short. Rebound pulled down by Schwarting. He'll take the five-footer and knocks it down. It's a good start here in the fourth quarter. Getting that offensive board a nice little put back. Get him going. They're in the man now. They believe that they, they put some uh, pressure on the ball. They'll get some impatience and maybe some turnovers here. Here's Preto looking to create 
in front of his own bench. Now back up top to Haas. Haas will swing it around to Riedel. Over to Sand. Sand will take the two. That shot goes up over the backboard. Out of bounds. Hornet ball. So is that what you want? If you're the Comets, are you, are you wanting to take those deep shots? I know you don't want to stop scoring. No, you can't. But to take a deep shot, you, you run the risk of a, a few things, uh, all of them bad. You, you risk the run out. Uh, you risk giving up the ball too quickly. Van over to Schwarting. He'll take a jumper. That one is short. Rebound pulled down by Friedrichs. Here's Preto. Moving the ball up quickly. A little in and out dribble. Now hand it off to Riedel. Riedel up top to Haas. Haas pump fakes with the head. Right hand runner. And he traveled. As you hear Coach Eric Young saying, two dribbles and make that pass. Kill a little clock. This game isn't over. It's, it's, it's it is not over. Not by any stretch. Got an 11 point ball game. The only team that scored here are the Hornets. And the Comets sitting back at that 2 3. Here's an errant pass by Reef to Preto. Preto to the basket. Up off the glass and good. Nicely done. <laughs> Nicely played. Little water bug out there. I'm telling you. Handles the ball well. Goes to the basket well as well. Yeah, he does. I'm impressed. Here's Reith. He'll take the three. That one's good. Now it's a 10 point ball game with 4.25 to go. So there's time. Plenty of time. Here's Riedel. Back up top to Haas. Now swung over to Prio. Prito down to Sand in the far right corner. Now back up top to Riedel. Holding the ball above his head up top to Haas. Haas kicks it back to him. This is what I think the comments were looking to do is kill a little time. Yes. As Riedel takes a three. Good. Hits it. Answered right back. But that's what you've got to do. Inside, outside, then take the open shot. There's Doron with the three. That one is short. Rebound tapped around and fought for and pulled down by Riedel. Preto bringing it up on the left side with the right hand. Looking to get in the lane. Kicks it out to Haas. Haas will take a three. Short. Rebound pulled down by Egemeyer. The Hornets got to start pushing the ball a little bit here. They do. When they've got the opportunity. The, com the comments are going to get back, though. Eggemeyer's three is real long. Rebound to Riedel. Now over to Preto. And the comments are going to slow it down. Preto over to Haas at the top of the key. If you're the Hornets, shouldn't you be putting a little more pressure on them uh, out on the perimeter? I would think so. You know, I would really think that that's what you'd want to do. Here's Riedel looking to get in the lane. Kicks it out to Sand. Sand now back to Riedel. Riedel. Look to get a pass over to Friedrichs. Looks like he lost a handle on it. Trying to make the pass. And the Hornets will look to go the other way. Down 13 here with just under three minutes to play in the contest. Here's Schwarting up top to LeVan. LeVan over to Reith. Reith had the ball knocked away. Good defensive play here by the Comets at the top of the key. And here's Haas to the basket. Up off the glass with the right hand. No good. Rebound pulled down by Reith. The Hornets are looking to push. Up ahead to Eggemeyer. And that pass is picked off by Friedrichs. Up to Haas. No numbers. Now to Riedel. Riedel go to the basket, and we've got a foul. Foul is on, looks like number 15 for the Hornets. And that was Ronan Dolren. Yeah. And checking back in is Withy, replacing Prito. And I thought Prito played very well here in the second half. Absolutely. And like you said, more pressure on the ball. Right now, they're just catching free. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I, I really don't see a lot of screens, so it's just effort right now. And as you say that, Haas is freed up by a screen. His 15-footer is no good. Rebound pulled down by Eggemeyer. Here's LeVan crossing the timeline. 2.15 to play. Down 13. Now over to Eggemeyer. Eggemeyer into lane to Schwarting. Couldn't get a handle on the pass. And stolen by Friedrichs in the comments. Now we're in that zone. It's layup and foul time. Here's Haas now over to Withy. We don't know back up top to Haas. Over to Withy. Now we're just kind of running a weave at the top of the key here. We don't know back over to Withy. Killed about 20 seconds. Levan fouls with a minute and a half to play. And it looks like the Hornets are going to empty their bench. Yeah, I think uh, they're waving the flag down. Uh, down by 13 with a minute and a half to play. <laughs> and 
And it looks like the Comets will get a couple guys in as well. Big hand for, I'm guessing there are quite a few of the eighth graders being taken out by the Hornets. Yeah. It's always tough. Always. Always. It's Friedrichs in the middle of the lane. Kick back out to Haas. Haas will take a deep three. That one is long. Rebound tapped around. Haas comes down with his all offensive rebound. Right hand up off the glass. No good. Pulled down by Riedel, and the comments will Smart. reset. Smart. Just kicked it with back him. out. Back over to Kruger. Kruger now down in the lane to Riedel. Riedel will kick it out from the post. Now back up top to Withy. Withy over to Haas. And looks like they're just going to try to kill this clock. They've got a big man that's running at, uh, running inside. They Kruger. can get, get him the ball anytime they want. Kruger's three was long. And here comes Jarrett James up the floor, and he's fouled by Withy. I believe that was an intentional foul to stop the clock, so the Comets could get a couple guys in themselves. Absolutely. Absolutely. Just under a minute here to play, 54.8 seconds. Comets up 44-31. And what, what do we always talk about? The third quarter is the money quarter, and it that's is. really what separated the Comets from the Hornets in this game. Absolutely. Like we talked about, the Comets went back to doing the things that, that they were doing well, and uh, the Hornets didn't. Camden Davis looked to create inside the lane. He was fouled by number 40, Joe Mantage. That's the team's fifth. Far right corner is Eli Hughes. Kick back up top to Hughes. Here's a jumper. That one is short out of the hand of Eli Hughes. Rebound fought for and pulled down by Hughes. Here's another left-handed jumper up and good by Jordan Hughes. And the Comets will look to go the other way. Here's number 24, JT Adams, pushing the ball up. Here's a deep three. That one is short out of the hand of Nick Krukowski. Rebound tapped around and fought for. Finally pulled down by Danny Gilmer. And then we've got a rebound for the Hornets by Jaden Mott. Jaden Mott looking to push up the sideline. He'll launch a deep three at the buzzer off the top of the backboard. No good. And the Comets take home fifth place here at the 2016 state tournament. Nothing to sneeze at. And for the Hornets, played well. They I mean, did. You got a team that came from as far south as you can go in Illinois pretty much. An hour south of St. Louis is what I'm told. And they came up here and took a sixth. Yep. Got to be gotta be happy going home with that. Made it to Sunday. That's what you got to do. You got to make it to Sunday. Make it to Sunday. And, and they're here. And they played well, played hard. They have nothing to be ashamed of. Speaking of make it to Sunday, we've made it to Sunday. <laughs> Coming up next is the women's third and fourth place game. We'll be back with the boys third and fourth place game at 2 o'clock. We'd like to congratulate both fifth teams place game, on the opportunity the to represent Comets their schools and communities in our fifth and sixth place game, over game the and uh, finish in Hornets. this Sam state Poole. 2016. I'd like for to have the Poole. captains Thank come for forward from Thanks. Chester St. John's and accept our sixth place finish in state 2016. Congratulations, fellas. And our fifth place award winner with a record of three and one in our tournament in state 2000, the Comets from Mount Prospect, St. Paul. Congratulations, fellas.